Hello everyone. Welcome to IT Frontier. My name is Ariharnath. In this video, we'll see how to connect Node MCU with Node Red using MQTT and monitor the temperature and humidity values on the Node Red UI dashboard. Stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit bell icon as well. get started. So first, we'll try to look into the uh, GitHub repository that I have created for this project. So in this GitHub repository, you can see the flow diagram that we are going to discuss. First flow diagram. So here we can see we have DHT11 sensor. And right now we are going to send temperature and humidity values to the Node-RED client. So that is Node-RED UI dashboard. So you can see here the DHT11 sensor is connected with MQTT client that is node mcu so here node mcu will be connected and uh, then this node mcu will be in turn publishing the messages using mqtt protocol so because it is publishing it is called mqtt client and we are using a public mqtt broker that is hiveMQ. so we are publishing to that broker and that broker uh, will have responsibility to send the messages whoever has subscribed so we here we use node red so node red will have uh, again, a subscriber will act as a subscriber. It will receive the messages from the topic that we have uh, published here. So we will be connecting to HiveMQ from Node-RED as well, so that to get the messages. And once we get the messages, we'll put those messages and values into a dashboard like this. So for temperature, we'll be showing as a graph and humidity as a gauge value. So let's get further. So first, what are the things that we need to do? So we need to first install the required libraries. So these have to be done in Arduino IDE. So first we need to open Arduino IDE and go to tools and manage libraries. So under library manager, we, we have to install these uh, two libraries. So I'll be showing that whenever I'll explain you the code. So next thing is hardware schematic. So hardware schematic, you can see the node MCU, we are trying to connect with D4 pin to the signal and fire uh, the three volts to V and ground to ground pin. So this is a simple connection that we need to do. Let's talk about step three, that is running the program. So we need to copy the code to the Arduino IDE. The code will be in this repository. It will be in the format of INO. This is the format of Arduino IDE. So once we get the code, we'll have to set up everything. So these things I'll be explaining. So we'll have to copy the code. So I'll click on copy raw file and open the Arduino IDE. So here you can see this is the code that I have copied. So you have to go to library manager from this or you can go to tools and manage libraries and then search for the uh, things that we are. Uh, first one is the pub sub client. So here it is already installed. So I have installed this, it's shown installed. Next thing is we need to have DHT sensor library. So by Adafruit, that is also installed. That's why I can see installed. So these two, if you are not installed, so you have to install first. So next thing we'll look into the code. So what we have to do here is, so basically we are setting the DHT pin according to the schematic that is DHT uh, so to the D, D4 pin that we have connected, that's why DHT GPIO pin is to here. And we are using DHT11 sensor. And the remaining things are for the, uh, the Wi-Fi username password. And the MQTT username password, if you are going to use, then you have to mention, I'm not going to use that. And the broker. So MQTT server. So here we have to mention what is the server of MQTT. So let me explain how we got this broker, HiveMQ. Dot com. So we have to go to the broker dot, so public MQTT broker of HiveMQ. And here we'll be having free public MQTT broker that we can use. So uh, here clearly they will mention that if we are using this, we have to use the host as broker dot .com. So, and you have to use the TCP port 1883. So that is what I have used. Next thing we'll, we'll be looking into the Wi-Fi client. So it is trying to connect the Wi-Fi and the pubsub client as well. And uh, we'll be having uh, the Wi-Fi setup. This is all uh, 
uh, self explanatory there is nothing much because it is trying to connect to the wi fi and uh, we are using uh, in the setup you will be seeing that dht uh, in the library of dht uh, so you'll be first beginning it using this method and then setting up the wi fi and we are trying to connect the mqtt server using 183 first time when it go goes to the loop so it will first check that if the already client is connected or not if it is not connected it will try to reconnect and if not it will go to the client connect and it this is the connection uh, client name and the username password if it is necessary that we'll put otherwise we have put as none so millis are going to be used uh, to efficiently uh, provide the interval between the iterations so it will not halt the program like delay so that is why this is more recommended next we'll be using the uh, reading the humidity values and temperature values both in celsius and fahrenheit and uh, we'll be using client.publish to publish the values in string so this is the topic that we are going to publish so it frontier slash temperature will be publishing the string value of temperature and here as well the iot frontier slash humidity will be publishing the humidity values in string and then we'll be using serial uh, communication as well so that we can debug the code in serial monitor so now what we can do is we'll we can connect node mcu onto the laptop and the com port got added here this is what i need to select and i'll select correct board and now i'll try to upload the code so before uploading you have to also make the connections of dht11 uh, so using the schematic that we have explained with node mcu once that is done you can upload the code so it will try to compile and upload the code Now it has done the uploading. So we can see the code has been uploaded. Now we'll go back to the steps. So now we have followed this running the program, uploading the code. Now let's check the monitor the values in serial monitor. So you can see the values every 10 seconds, you will be able to get the new values. So for each 10 seconds, you are getting the values. So right now we have done the step three. Now we have to go to the step four. So we have to open the node red. So inside the node red, uh, we have to go to the palette. So node red is already running. So I opened in localhost 1880 and uh, I'll have to first go to the the menu in the side and uh, go to the manage palette. We have to search for node red dashboard. It would be something like this. So I have already installed. That's why it's showing in use for you. You can click search for it and install it over there. So once that is done, we have to copy the code. Uh, so these steps are done. So we have to import, import the flow. So I can copy this and in the menu, I'll try to import. So I'll paste the JavaScript code and click on the import. So now I can see intuitive dashboard has been imported. So what we have done here is we have taken the MQTT in. So, uh, so MQTT in has been taken from the network. And here I have put the debug node from here. And again, because we have installed that node red a dashboard so from the palette you will you will be having this new palette of the nodes so from here i have taken the gauge so gauge here and the chart here so how to configure that so we'll have to first provide the server so i'm using the broker dot hive mq dot com on so that we have seen here this one and subscribe to the single topic. So I have already, have you seen in the code, right? So in my code, I have used, I'm publishing to this topic. So we have to subscribe to this topic as well. So that is why we have to do that. And then in the message, in the debug, you just have to connect to it. And that's so just want to see whatever the values that are going to the uh, gauge, 
UI. So you have want to see here as well. That's why we have put this. And second, we'll be using this one, the gauge. So you can click on it. So here we have we have to assign a group. So if it is not already there, you have to create a new dashboard group. So by clicking on it, and here you have to click create a new thing. Uh, if you are having any tab, you can use the tab and update it. So it will be going to use that. And here the label should be humidity and the gauge, the value and minimum value is zero, 100 value is the maximum that I put and done. Next thing, same for this here, I'm trying to publish to the temperature topic. And here the temperature, we are using line chart and home is the group and done. So now if I deploy, I'll, I should be able to see that it is connected. Now what we have to do is we can even either uh, clear this and we can look that uh, as we have subscribed and push, putting the values in the debug as well. So you can see the humidity and temperature values are coming here as well. Now we can also go to the uh, UI that is to see the gauge and the chart. So for that, you have to copy this, whatever the URL that you have, and then you have to put UI at the last. So it will open the UI. So you can see for the home, you will be having temperature and humidity and the values are humidity. You, you should be seeing in the this way as gauge and humidity temperature will be seen as a chart. To increase the temperature and humidity, I have blown some air uh, from my mouth. So you can see the value got changed. So you have 30.6, now 31.2 and even the humidity got changed to 71. And as I stop blowing, so it will slowly come down and you can see the values keep on changing. So we can see the values that are getting changed. That is 68 humidity and temperature has come to 31.6 and is slowly decreasing. I hope this video has helped you understand how to send MQTT messages from Node NCU, capture those messages using Node-RED and display those on Node-RED dashboard UI. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.